I'm molding myself into place. Okay. I'm coming more and more into alignment with my true desire. My desire relative to this subject is becoming more evident to me all the time. This is not a big mystery to me. I know what I want. What's up everyone? I hope you are doing well. A subscriber messaged me a while back and after a few messages, we realized we were both about to be in Arizona. Roland then invited us out for a lake day and some freshwater spearfishing, something I'd never done before. He even let me borrow his homemade handcrafted spear gun. If you're a diver, you might be surprised like I was to know that freshwater wood guns are built differently than saltwater ones. Because of the buoyancy differences, these freshwater guns are built a lot lighter. That being said, they feel the same when you shoot. These are channel catfish, and while it was sick to watch them swim around, it's actually illegal to take them by spear. Same thing goes for the largemouth bass you see in some of these clips. We were mainly looking for striped bass, but I also wanted to try and take a couple of carp. Before the dive, I was told not to shoot carp in the head because the spear would bounce off. And I did just that. I looked everywhere, but couldn't find it. I always try and minimize mistakes like this, but sometimes it happens. It's best to learn from it and move on. Nothing is wasted in nature. Next, we move to a new spot that might hold more carp. I just wanted to take a second to say a big thank you to Roland and Kathy for such an amazing time. Y'all are the best. If you are new to the concept of spearfishing or have no idea what's going on, I'll give a brief explanation. Basically, I'm relaxing on the surface, breathing calmly, holding my breath, and then diving down to the bottom to look for yummy fish to eat. Here, I finally secure a nice carp. Check it out. see what I'm talking about when I get to uh right there. So you just cut that rib meat out right yes, there? Yes sir. That's a good Doesn't amount. mean we didn't get some bones in it, right? Right. But more than likely we did not. Okay. It's a pain. Like I said, if it's a small fish, it ain't worth it. We didn't want to make the three hour drive home that day. So last minute we booked a room through Hotwire a great site for last minute booking deals. We found this place in historic downtown Chandler for $100 a night. Their rooms are normally around 150. We will give you a little tour later, but first we had to go check out the brewery just around the corner. I'm like, where do I want to start? Seasonal. This is some pineapple. Try it out. 
I don't want to try that one until I remember the name. Okay, here we have Juicy Jack, Juicy Hazy IPA. All the like beer lovers out there are probably freaking out. I don't think you're supposed to try the IPAs first. But... I love Juicy Haze IPAs. That's what it is, right? Yeah, can't go wrong with these. Turn on the lights. We made a little bit of a mistake with you guys. Um, when we checked in yesterday, we were just pretty tired and ready to take a nap um, since we got done with the lake and everything. So we forgot to film coming into the room and showing you guys how it is and checking it out and everything. So we cleaned up a little bit and we're gonna give you a quick tour of what we got. So we booked through Hotwire and we found this place, the Crown Plaza, for $75. Uh, it is normally $130 and so that's like a pretty good discount. So after like the booking and everything, it came out to be about $100 and it is a resort so it is all inclusive so that means um, that some free drinks are included. So what I do is I trim it. There's some, like the red stuff I always get rid of, the real super red stuff. So, let's see what this looks like. I don't know which one you did and which one I did. This is yours. Yeah, it looks like yeah. somebody So you can still feel, time. that's okay. <laughs> you can still feel some bones, right? Right in here. And plus it's got that little yellow right there. So we know that came from the rib cage, right? All right. So we'll get rid of that. So this is up towards the, uh, Rib cage or towards the uh, the front of the fish, so you can feel some bones in there. You just want to come right behind that and get rid of that. Carp are eaten all over the world, but in America they are often regarded as trash. I will put Roland and Kathy's recipe in the description below because the results were amazing. All right, I'm gonna see what it's like. All right. What do you think? I love it. That's delicious. Yeah, it's super good. Try it, Jade. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a pot with the cayenne pepper in it. That's super good. It is really good. I like it a lot, yeah. Mm. That's it for this episode, everyone. We made it back home. We are working on our schoolie right now, getting it set up with some upgrades before we head off on our tour. And so we're just gonna give you a nice little sneak peek at what's going on. So we ripped the stairs up. Cool. Um, so yeah, we're still in a little bit of just like tearing things out and cleaning it up to make it nicer. We painted these drawers, a shelf in here, sealed some windows off. So I'm really excited about um, this window paint we put on it. So this is chalkboard. Um, so we have a nice little built-in chalkboard in our bus and everything. So it's coming along really well and we're really stoked to show you the final outcome soon. <laughs> 